Hey guys, I'm the Maha Mechanic and today we're going to be trying to fix our little parking brake issue. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. So I'm going to first start out by just seeing if the parking brake actually works. So I'm, gonna, I'm able to roll the car, as you can see here. Car's moving. Hold it. Oh, try to push it. Okay. Now it's not moving. Okay, so that confirms that the issue is not in the actual brake or brake line going to there, the cable, because when I pull it, it actually does stop. So the issue will then lie in this dirty little crevice here. I know, sorry. I haven't gotten to cleaning it yet. I'm trying to fix all the mechanical problems before I fix my, the aesthetic problems. Anyway, um, so the issue lies within this mechanism. So it looks like everything connects to the body, or at least the handle, with that screw, that little zinc plated one, that my, this one. It looks like everything connects to the body with that one. So I'm going to remove that one to see if I can't remove the actual handle and take a look at it because it's kind of hard with all this uh, between the seats and with the carpet and stuff. So I'm going to do that now. So just a little update here. I have removed the two bolts holding the like, assembly on. There's one down in the front bottom and then that one back here that I was showing you. They're both right there. Um, now, to remove the handle, I'm going to have to remove this uh, little pin thing here. I'm going to have to get a uh, screwdriver, a little tiny screwdriver to put it in that little hole right there and then pop it out. So, with that pin out, with that pin out, I was able to remove what I think is the source of the problem, which is this little um, hook slash gear thingy basically this goes on there like this and when you press the button or it it lifts it up like that so that it can slide down but when you're lifting it it lifts it up like that and it should lock in to the uh the teeth on the handle but right here as you can see it's like really rounded off and that's not letting it get a good grip or bite on this gear down here. So I can move this. This gear. That's what it bites onto. So I don't think this gear is bad necessarily. I think this one's fine. The ridges on there look okay. Um, I might just order another one of these pieces because this one looks the worst out of the two and see if this one will fix it. So uh, I think I found our pro my problem. So let's fix this. So I was going to uh, take this, this one and weld a little uh, some material on here and then file it down. But before I could do that, I went to a junkyard and I remembered that I needed this piece. So, yeah, I got a new one. Well, not a new one, but uh, a better one from a junkyard. You can just see how this one, the tip is like completely gone. So, we're going to swap that into the car. I also picked up a button. Since the button on my car is just a chunk of wood for some reason. And the spring, well, I, I didn't think I needed the spring, but, you know, just... You know, just take it just in case. So, let's get these parts back on the car, and our parking brake should should work. I'm gonna start by removing this stupid piece of wood. I mean, hey, it, it worked, I guess, but it's just a chunk of wood. It's not even meant to be on here. So yeah, that was that was just a piece of wood, like literally, that someone just drilled a hole through and put on the, I don't know. 
Anyway, um, I'm going to replace the spring just because, I don't know, I'm just going to do it. So I've got the internal little rod here sticking out. Uh, I think that's going to be the easiest way to just thread this on here. It's just to start it when it's out. Oh, now i got to pull it out again. So, yeah, I'm going to put the camera down because it's kind of hard to do it like this. Um, yeah, I'm going to pull it out, uh, thread it on all the way, um, and then push it in. It should recess in here a little bit. I right, got that back on, and I should just be able to force this thing back in there, I think. We shall see. I'm going to need to use some force. All right, got it shoved back in there. Seems to work pretty well. Now we can get our pawl back in there. Uh, I believe it goes this way. All right, so the first step is getting this gear piece reconnected to the actual handle. Uh, I believe it goes in there like this, and then there's a um, hole right here that goes through the handle and it has a little pivot on it. That's where this bolt right here, the one with the kind of flat spot on it is gonna go. So I figured it'd be easier to get this done with the mechanism out. Uh, as you can see here, here's the little pivot bolt. Uh, it's got a flat spot on one side and of course a flat spot on the bolt. So it goes in there, flat spot there, it won't turn. And the Paul, as you can see here, it goes through this hole, and it, it goes through this hole. Well, I need to push the button for it to do that. Uh, but it'll go through that hole, and then it gets caught in these gears. And what was happening with the other, the other one that was rounded off, was that um, since it didn't have a tip on it, uh, it wouldn't stay. So it'd be like this, but since there's no tip to keep it in the tooth, it would just slide out and then fall all the way back down. That's why it was kind of grabbing, but it wasn't. So now, now we can get this reinstalled and everything hooked up and back on the car. All right, it's all back together here. As you can see, you pull it up like this, get stuck in one of these holes and then, or these gear, these teeth, and then it shouldn't move. And then you do this, and then it'll come back down. All right, so let's get connect. Let's get it connected to the wire again, and then these two bolts get mounted to the body of the car, right here. So let's do that now. And just like that, our parking brake sticks and is now functional. So there you go. If you found this video informative, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more. And remember, no matter your experience or your skill level, keep on improving.